Here's a quick video showing us testing our new 81 to 1 or Slack Snap 1.0. Let me show you what we got. So we're just testing the maximum strength we're going to get. And so it's just from tree to tree. We have our dynamometer and this keeps this orientated this way with the span set that way. And what we have is uh, technically four, but two on each side, SMC pulleys. And that is how we connect it with little shackles to a big shackle. And then it's terminated at this point, it goes back and forth eight times. And on the ninth strand goes into this bag. On this side, we have similar, a similar setup. So let's find out what kind of forces we get when looks like I'm pulling. <laughs> so I can put about a hundred pounds of force or about a half a kilo on a rope. So I should get about 900 pounds. That can't be right, Bobby. What? Oh, it's, it was like 5,000 pounds. It's 5.05 kilonewtons. <laughs> That's pretty, wow. I got five kilonewtons out of pulling just that. Who do cams break at? Like eight 10 to 12? 10 to 15? Yeah. Ah, oh, yes. Our old system sucked. <laughs> now that I'm in charge of pulling, I'm glad we have this good one. So we took our nine to one, which is back and forth eight times with the tail and we add this rigging plate and then a progress capture. So we can add a three to one on the last strand, which makes a 27 to one. So uh, we found it easier to just have two span sets or whatever. This used to be like the ultimate slack line, long line, park line uh, setup. So it's kind of fun to repurpose this overkill for uh, pulling out cams, nuts, and Maybe even rock features, if we can find a spot to ethically do that. So, let's see what I get with my 27 to 1. Technically, if I'm putting on 100 pounds of force, or 0.5 kilonewtons, then I should be getting half of that, 12,000 pounds. Sure. I don't know. Let's find it. 13. Kilonewtons? Yep. So the problem is this is a like a climbing static rope or a semi-static rope. So it's very spongy. When I pull, I gotta pull all that slack out before it'll actually go again. This might be better with an isostatic rope. We do discover that the more rope you add has a diminishing return because of the of the stretch. So let's do a let's add another multiplier in this. In order to do three to one our 27 to one. Uh, I'm gonna put a pulley on this. I don't have it with me at this moment. Gotta go back here. And then we're gonna go here. We're gonna add another pulley. Gotta go get these things here. And we are going to pull like this. Now, this is, I felt like a lot of friction was lost right here in the Gree Gree. I am wondering if I put on the very, very, very end, if that would make a difference. But if we're gonna able to get to 20 kilonewtons with this, then I, I'm i not really gonna pull anything outside stronger than that. So I'll go get some pulleys now. I, I'm i pretty sure this is an 81 to one. This is crazy. Let's see what I can get out of it. Oh, I feel it. Sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, Ugh. 25. Ugh, that was really hard. Oh my God. I want to see this thing. <laughs> wow. That's, that is terrifying. Isn't that like 5,000 pounds? Yeah. Um, well, that's what I was hoping I'd get out of it. But from an 81 to one, and if I could pull 100 pounds, should I be getting 8,000 pounds? Friction. Um, so now we're gonna take this all over. I could actually travel with this, especially if whoever I'm going to visit is gonna have rope. Uh, not exactly lightweight, but it's portable. And we can test anything. Now I could do a two to one. 
and on the end of the two to one, like a big piece of amp seal, I could uh, attach this to it. So we could get up to 50 kilonewtons. If we have two people pull, you don't get double, but basically we can break anything we want. So I'm pretty excited. I'm out of breath. Hold on. So this is just a quick no frills edit episode for YouTube. We don't charge patrons for things like this. No one can tell you to smash a like button or anything. Uh, but we are going to break a lot of cool stuff. Put in the comments below what you want to see tested in real rock. Thanks for joining. Cheers.